Hey guys, what is up? Iron Mike with Iron Mike Gaming here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about the new upcoming ARC 2, which was just announced a couple of hours ago. There's a lot of good and a lot of bad things that I'm seeing about this already. But um, first and foremost, I would like to cover the fact that this game actually has a main character, which would suggest that this may or may not be another MMORPG like its predecessor, ARC 1. The main character is cast by Vin Diesel, and his name is Santiago. Um, from Easter eggs in the trailer, it appears that Santiago might be a survivor from the Genesis Saga. Not too sure about this, but later on in the video, it actually shows him shutting down one of the Genesis modules and saying goodbye, old friend. So this could either be an Easter egg to the fact that Santiago is from Genesis, or it could be completely unrelated altogether. Now, one of my main concerns about this upcoming title is the fact that Studio Wildcard does not have a very good track record for being able to produce a reliable product. As a matter of fact, this is actually the second ARC 2. A little bit lesser known is the game Atlas, which was actually originally the sequel to ARC. Um, I mean, it's a PC exclusive, and you can buy and play it, but from what I understand, it doesn't have a very great following, and it's even buggier than ARC, which is not in a good state on console or PC at this point. Another major issue that I'm seeing in a couple of the groups um, on my, both my Facebook and my Twitter is the fact that the developers have come right out and said that PlayStation 5 will not be receiving a port of this game. At least not right away anyways. Uh, it is going to be a PC and Xbox exclusive and that is unfortunately all they have said about it. They have not commented on whether or not there will be a port in the future. Here is the direct quote right here guys. Heads up, I'm seeing some confusion on this. ARC 2 will be launching on PC and exclusively on Xbox. Looking forward to sharing more info in due time. And this was posted by Cedric from the Studio Wildcard team on Twitter as of today at 9.34 p.m. Another bit of information that has me worried is right here on the official uh, Twitter, posted by the official Twitter of Studio Wildcard. They state here that Vin Diesel will be starring in this game as Santiago, implying that Santiago may indeed be the main character, which there in turn brings up all sorts of questions. Um, you know, is there going to be a character creation aspect to this game? Is it going to be multiplayer? Is this going to be even, you know, an online game like we saw with Arc 1? Or is this going to be something more along the lines of a story-driven action-adventure? Apparently this is all up in the air at this point, which this is just speculation in my opinion. We will probably see something close or at least similar to the original arc. However, um, it appears we may actually have a main character which kind of throws everything out of perspective at this point. Now as of today, unfortunately, this is all the information that we have available to us right now other than the trailer that was launched. Also, there's been a little bit more news. They are going to be making a ARC the Animated Series, uh, apparently starring a female character named Helena, which actually looks badass. I don't know what anime uh, studio they got to do that, but it actually looks pretty darn good. Now, with all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get into part of the video that I really am not looking forward to talking about, and that is predictions going forward with ARC 2 and the current state of ARC 1. And that is, quite honestly, absolute garbage. If you play Ark Survival Evolved on any console, on PC, even if you have a top-of-the-line, best-money-can-buy setup, you'll know that Ark Survival Evolved's servers are absolutely terrible. And I don't care who you are, um, what you play on, um, we've playtested Ark with the best PC that money can buy, and it is just absolute garbage. It just needs some fixes, but unfortunately it's been sorely neglected, and with the release of yet another title from Studio Wildcard, which looks to be that it's going to turn into their poster child, and they're probably going to completely neglect Arc 1 as soon as Arc 2 comes out. So my worry with that is that Arc 1 
is not only never going to get fixed, but we're going to see something along the lines of a second Great Migration. For those of you who have been playing since Legacy, you know what I'm talking about. I'm also kind of worried about server status. Is Studio Wildcard going to keep uh, servers up for ARC 1, or are they going to shut down servers uh, to reallocate for ARC 2, if ARC 2 does end up indeed being a multiplayer game? Because at that point, you've got to wonder, are they just going to shut down ARC 1 because they say, oh, well, we're not making you know money off of this anymore, or we're not making enough money off of this. So we're just going to reallocate our assets to ARC 2. I could totally see them doing that with their track record. But that's going to about wrap this one up, guys. What are your comments and thoughts about this? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think is going to happen with the new release of ARC 2. Thanks again for watching, guys. And until next time, we'll see you soon.